Hello, I'm Mike with this week's new and trending AI tools that are blowing up the internet. Stick around to the end where I'll show you the tool I used to make that funky cool AI morphing animation. And also thank you to Mr. Beast for his AI powered view stats. I've used it a second time this week to make the thumbnail for this video. And if you want to see how that tool works, you can go and watch last week's AI tools update, which I'll link down below. But let's get into this week and we're starting with Udio. That's right, Udio just announced a bunch of new updates, including audio uploads, wave file download, so high quality audio, and some mobile improvements as well. But I think the most explosive feature this week is the ability to upload audio. You'll see here you get a little upload icon. This can take music you've already created or you own the rights to and extend it using generative AI. Okay, so I've clicked the upload button and I've got some jingle music that we've created at our other company, Music Radio Creative. Have a listen. Okay, so that's a standard music bed that you could use as a content creator to introduce your show, your podcast, or whatever. But wouldn't it be great if Udio could add some AI lyrics to it? Now it can in just a click. So we'll upload this to Udio and say by uploading the file, we attest that we have the right to use and distribute the file. So you have to agree with that. It's good to see ethical use of this tool is implemented. So I've entered the lyrics, showing you all the AI tools. He's got it all. You know the rules. Mike Russell, Mike Russell with Creator Magic. I'm following that lyrics tip to give about six lines for a really good production. All right, let's take a listen to one of these generations. Again, starting off with my reference track that I fully 100% own the copyright to, so no issues there with copyright laws. Now it's going into the Udio generation and hopefully my lyrics too. Let's have a listen. If you're enjoying this video so far, make sure to throw a big like and also subscribe to the channel as I have weekly updates on AI tools for content creators right here. That is 100% generated using music I own, lyrics on top. What a cool new feature, the ability to add audio uploads for paid users of Udio. Now this uses the Udio 32 model, which means you can make extensions of 30 seconds at a time. They do have another two minute model, but it doesn't work presently with audio uploads uploads. But the good news is you can generate a music track from audio you upload that lasts up to 15 minutes. Now, if we give this WAV file a little bit of analysis in Adobe Audition, you will notice here that actually it's at a sample rate of 48,000 hertz. That's extremely high quality. Stereo, it's a 32-bit WAV file, so lots of boxes tick there in terms of audio quality. Another little check I can do, this shows me how much of the audio is there in all the different frequencies from bass right up to high end. And you'll see right about here where my cursor is, is the switch from the original audio to the AI audio. And you will notice a little knockoff here, just here at the top frequencies, but it's really not that noticeable to the human ear. I would say we've lost maybe a few kilohertz right at the very top end in the AI generation. But again, it's something you might notice if you're wearing headphones and paying particular attention. But to most creators who want to create an awesome jingle or something like that, I don't think you're really going to notice much difference. This looks pretty incredible, and I can only see this improving with time. Seeing as I'm having so much fun with this, I'm going to upload another jingle I have the rights to. So here's the original intro, and we're going to go into the AI-generated music very shortly. Right about there, actually. Now let's listen to the AI-generated lyrics to this little jingle as well. <laughs> That's pretty insane. Now, these are obviously music compositions that we own the rights to at my audio production company, Music Radio Creative. If you'd like to have these transformed into your own jingles for content creation, go and check out the product I'll link down below so you can have completely 100% copyright safe music generated into jingles for your own shows. Okay, with Udio done, let's move on to Descript. And Descript is a very popular audio editing app powered by AI, 
specifically for podcasters, used to be very much audio-based, but of course now it's video-based, and well, now they've introduced more AI tools, as if they didn't already have enough, they have an AI Underlord. And I'd like to give you a brief look at some of the features of Underlord. Now, there are many, as you can see down this right-hand menu, but I'm going to go with just a few to see what we can do to what I've already got here. Just a short clip of me. This little box here is the best thing I've seen so far. So the first Underlord feature I'll use is green screen. And boom, within moments, green screen has cleared out my studio and I can insert something else in the background. So let's go over to media and there's a bunch of stuff here. We can actually search here. Let's do space. And under stock video, I can find something I'm happy with. And oh, this looks really good. So let's insert this in my timeline. Now under layer order, I'm going to send to the back. And there we go. Now I can play back and see myself in space. Here is the best thing I've seen so far for pro quality streaming. Under publish, I can use tools such as summarize. And look at that straight away. It says the video introduces a small device that offers professional quality streaming for both audio and video, even while on the move. Next, I can go back to my underlord and say draft a social media post. And again, just click submit. And look at that right over here. It's drafted out three different posts that I can put up on X or wherever I like. Now, I also like the fact that as well as having all the audio and video improvement tools, Underlord can help me brainstorm ideas while I'm in the middle of making content. So I've written, help me understand pain points that creators using this tool would want to overcome. And here it is. It's helping me out. One of the major challenges creators face is maintaining high quality audio in fluctuating environments. Maintaining video quality can be tough. Discussing common problems. One other cool feature is the ability to generate an image. So you'll see at the end here where I say, let's dive in. I've just put some B-roll of somebody diving into water, but I think maybe generate an image could help me out here. So let's type in diving into water. Wow. Okay. So it's given me four image generations here. It looks like it's using a model such as maybe Dali or stable diffusion under the hood. I can actually click one and insert it in and move it around in my timeline as to where I'd like it to be. Uh, I got to say that diver looks pretty flexible. So maybe the image generation isn't quite there yet, but I'm sure it's only going to get better with time. The final tool we're going to look at this week really is explosive. It's called Crea AI. Now, this has been trending for a few weeks, but they've just introduced a new feature called keyframe strength when you're morphing one video into another video. Let's see how it works to get the perfect video morph using AI. So you can see here it gives me an example project. It starts off with a samurai, and as I scroll along here, it will morph into that really cool mask like that. So I can go back and forward. I'll add in the first image, which is going to be my TNT thumbnail. And then I'm going to add in my second, which will just be a simple explosion looking like that. Now I'm going to add some text prompts. So the first text prompt will be man with stick of TNT in his mouth. And the second prompt will be huge cosmic explosion. Now we've got those both in. I'm going to dial the keyframes down to about half power on each. So it does a nice smooth transition and we'll click generate video. And there is the result on your screen. That looks pretty impressive, the way that explodes into a cosmic explosion with just a few prompts. Do you know what? I'm going to dial those down and I'm going to go to the experimental morph to see how that differs from my film morph that I started out with. Now, I'm going to say this generation looks pretty psychedelic, but again, play around with Crea AI. There are so many really interesting effects you can generate using this tool. Well, I hope you enjoyed those features as much as I did. Throw a like and remember to subscribe for more stuff just like this. Oh, and one more thing here. Take a look at these AI generated videos using Kling. It's a groundbreaking new AI video generator developed by Chinese tech company Kuaishou. It's designed to rival OpenAI's Sora. It's pretty incredible, isn't it? The innovative model can produce two minute videos at 1080p quality and 30 frames per second with a focus on realistic simulations and high resolution visuals. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, and just one piece of bonus news before we go. I got an email from Riverside this week. Riverside I'm using to do all my podcasting, by the way, for the Creator Magic podcast. It's a great tool for content creators who want to create audio and video content easily, especially with guests. They sent me an email with some updates and said big things are coming and to mark your calendar for June 17. I'll link to the webinar they're going to do down below. If you want to get signed up for that, I recommend you do. I think there's probably going to be a lot of A 
AI in there, as I feel like they're adding AI all the time. And as I scroll down near the end of the email, it says here, a cryptic message, Riverside to use 11 Labs as one of their sub-processors. Now, we know 11 Labs are great at AI voice generation, sound effects and music as well. And they've said here it's in order to support new audio enhancement features. We can only speculate at this stage as to what that means, but I'm pretty excited. And one of the features I noticed that they announced on X this week is video dub. Take a look at this. Maybe you had a slip up in the recording or you have some outdated information that needs to be changed, like a statistic or URL. Well, you can correct it right in the Riverside editor. We are 33 five-star reviews away from 200. Just select a word here in the transcript and click Video Dub. Correct the text and then click Generate. Then Video Dub will actually create new audio in your voice using AI and dub your lips to sync to that audio. We are 29 five-star reviews away from 200. And that's it. I hope you've enjoyed the tools this week. Make sure to share this video with a friend who you think might benefit from some of these tools that are exploding the internet right now. And of course, if you want to watch more stuff, you can go back and watch the playlist of AI tools videos I've made every single week now so you can catch up on other stuff that might be exciting for your content creation. Go and watch that playlist next and subscribe to the channel for more.